Hello, hello, and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Manual. Yes, it is good to be back. It has been a couple of days and also quite a few levels as well. As you can see, we are actually up to 49 levels now, uh, killing all these spiders, but they have taken a number off my armor as well, uh, considering they keep attacking me. So, yeah, we still got a few, like things to sort out in here but at least I'm getting quite a lot of XP and I'm kind of just staying a block away from them if I can uh, but sometimes they still attack me uh, but we've got a lot of string and a lot of spider eyes because of it uh, so yeah in this chest and this one's pretty much full as well so to start off this episode, I think we're going to see if we can enchant the rest of our stuff as well. And also, you might have seen some diamonds in here to make another pickaxe. Because if we just make another pickaxe, I did see Fortune as one of our first, Fortune 3. And we need another Fortune pickaxe because this is efficiency 2 on breaking 2. Yeah, <laughs> not that good really. So I could make a grindstone and get rid of the enchant and do that but I think just making another one getting some lapis and putting it on this one isn't going to hurt too much so yep fortune free please and efficiency for unbreaking free that is brilliant awesome so what do we get for this unbreaking free unbreaking free fire protection free I mean that would be good for the never resist Respiration free, that's good for breathing. And we get efficiency and efficiency. I think I'm going for the fire protection because we're going to be needing that. So at least it's guaranteed then. Or depth strider free. Yeah, I'll take that. Nice. Fire protection four. Great, we got more fire protection. <laughs> depth strider and unbreaking. I'll go for the efficiency on the shovel. Ah, oh, fortune free. Oh well. I'm breaking, I'm breaking on the axe. That's not bad. Efficiency, I'm breaking. Efficiency for I'm breaking. Protection. I think protection this time. And then last one, protection free. And thorns too. Awesome. So we got some pretty good enchants out of all of this. Uh, I think we don't really need that efficiency pickaxe for now. So I'll just chuck that in there along with the other stuff we don't need. Because, yeah, we can also put our stuff back on. So we'll be quite protected from fire now, which is actually a good thing because we are going to actually make an effort in the nether this time. And yeah, as you see there, that's how I keep getting attacked. So I'm going to grab all of these because that brings us up to 30 levels or should do. There we go. So we just had enough XP to do all of them levels as well. I just realized that. But yeah, this is why my uh, armor is taking a beating. So, and there's more of them. Right, let's drop you off you off. Right, let's get some stuff and I'll be back with you guys once I'm ready. Oh, there's probably one more thing that we need and that is a bow. So to make a bow, you need three bits of string and how many sticks? I can't remember. I think it's three sticks. Three sticks and free string in that and that's how you get a bow and you can enchant these in an enchanting table as well uh, so if we get that we get power free which is good uh, but just power free unfortunately but we do have an infinity book which we can put on our bow which will help somewhat anyway so infinity basically means that you get unlimited arrows as long as you've got one so if I've got one arrow in my hotbar, then it will just keep throwing arrows or it will keep ammunition. But if I didn't have infinity and I had mending, then I'd have to stock up with arrows. So it just makes it a bit easier sometimes. Uh, and I do actually have some arrows somewhere as well. Here we go. So I've got one arrow in my hotbar. Let's put that in my hotbar as well. So if I shoot now... You see the arrow still there, so I can keep shooting as many times as I want. But I've got to be careful with my actual arrow 
because I've only got 380 on it and I don't have an unbreaking book. And yeah, you can't pick up these arrows either. So now we've got a bow and most things, the thing we are going to do is actually venture into the nether because we can't fight the dragon unless we get blaze powder. Uh, and we can only get blaze powder from going into the nether. So like it or lump it, I'm going to have to uh, bite the bullet. <laughs> all right so this is where our nether portal is as we know we are really right above the nether and we don't have any wings or elytra so we can't do anything about that so the only thing we can do is grab our pickaxe and just start digging in a random direction until we reach somewhere i think i mean i could try and see if i can make a staircase downwards like i did try here i think but I think if I go any further down, it's just going to be <laughs> a massive drop. So I'd rather try not to. Ooh, there's some arrows there. Cool. Try not to. If I can see here, for example, uh, yeah, there's just a massive drop still into lava. So rather that not happen, to be fair. And I really haven't got a clue how I'm going to do this. <laughs> Um, I suppose just digging in a direction until we change biome might be a good idea. I've got to be careful with lava as well, but yeah, I think that's probably the way to go. Alright, so it wasn't too far away from where we started. We're in a nether waste now, so hoping if we dig down now, let's just dig straight down from here, I guess. We dig down now, hopefully... We can actually try and navigate the nether this time. All right, so it's brought us to this place here. And yeah, we can easily get across just pillaring ourselves over there if we wanted to. But there are... Oh, there's a ghost block here, is there? Yeah, it looks like there's a ghost block there anyway. But there are a few things we need to be careful of. These guys here and also... That guy in the far end there, you can tell the difference. <laughs> one's zombie and one's not. So these guys are zombified piglins and the other guys, wherever he went, I can't remember. He might have despawned. Interesting. Oh no, he's... Yep, anyway. <laughs> um, They're called piglins, so there is a difference. Where the hell is this ghost block? Um, So you've got to be really careful with the other guys not these guys unless you hit these guys then you'll be fine so as long as you don't hit these guys then you'll be all right and yeah also these guys you gotta be careful of they're called ghasts and they're spit fireballs at you so the way to get rid of them is normally by shooting them with an arrow <laughs> uh if i can reach that is i don't even think i can reach them from here yeah there we go <laughs> awesome I think we're all right to make ourselves a little path for now. We've got to be really careful though, but I think we'll be okay for now. I don't like the new never, I'm not going to lie. I find it really annoying. <laughs> uh, there's a skeleton there too. Right, we're all right for now, which is good, but I have no idea where to go. Uh, I think the best thing to do is actually get some gold on us first and then come back because I completely forgot about that. <laughs> You'll see why in a minute. All right, so we're back here in the nether where we made our entrance and there are quite a few piglins around and I don't really want them to see me at the moment. Oh, that's just, <laughs> that's fine. So I made myself a golden helmet because if we put on this golden helmet the piglins shouldn't attack us so without this golden helmet they will be trying to attack you and they're also scared of zombie piglins as well so there are ways to get around them but the easiest is really just to uh <laughs> wear yourself a bit of gold armor and yeah, the skeletons are a different story, but I'm not going to worry about him. So I'm just going to go in this direction, I think. We need to try and find ourselves another fortress. 
uh, but I don't really know where one is. I haven't looked on a map anywhere, so I think I'm just going to go this way. I'm not even going to bother trying to pick resources either because piglins like their gold, as we know, and if you mine gold like that next to them, they will attack you, and I'd rather that not be the case oh looky what we've got here <laughs> so we've met two biomes in the nether so far this is the nether waste the normal old <laughs> nether that you are familiar with then that biome over there that we entered from is the soul sand valley then over here with the red stuff is a crimson forest and this is the most dangerous biome of them all especially if i've got hardly well i've got some armor but yeah i'm not really that equipped and also we come across another mob in the game these guys are called hoglins and they're pretty much the nether version of pigs but they attack you <laughs> and they're vicious as well so you don't want to be too close to them but i am gonna be trying to collect a few of them just so we can and then get out of here oh there's a ghast over there and they didn't see me so that's good and i'm just gonna try and follow the edge of this biome i think just hopefully nothing attacks me uh i could get down here i should be um actually posting up where i am whoa no oh I should really be marking where I am, where I've been going as well. So let's go back to where we started from and do that because we could get lost otherwise and I don't want to be lost. So we should have entered around here somewhere, didn't we? Oh, hello. Right through here is where we entered. So let's put ourselves some cobblestone here. Yeah. And every so often I'm just going to put a cobblestone pillar so we can mark where we've been and where we're going. And we are heading off in this direction. Whoa! Did not see this guy here! Jeez! Yeah, these guys are a pain in the butt. And they take quite a while to kill as well. As you can see, they do quite a lot of heart health as well or can too he really scared me then jeez lucky i didn't die though but it's not to say i won't and i don't want to be going through there if i can help it so i think down here i can get down without this guy attacking me go away no <laughs> let's try and kill him yes so they drop leather but they also drop pork chops as well so it is a good food source but as you've seen then they are really quite dangerous to kill as well so i think this is quite a safe-ish way of getting down yeah as you notice there is a lot of lava in the nether so you've got to be careful everywhere even when you're just like mining a place out like this that you don't come into contact with lava because it can kill you and all your stuff as well oh nice so this is another biome in the nether this is the warped forest as you can see there and i'm getting attacked by a gas of course i am hi could you please just oh now yay and you can whack them away as well using your hand uh so yeah so this is the warped forest as you can see here it's got the warped variant so the red stuff is the crimson and this is the warped variant and i've got the mushrooms as well crimson and warped fungi with because they're actually mushrooms not trees <laughs> so yeah uh so that's most of the biomes in the nether i think there's one more um which i haven't seen yet so we might come across one, we might not. But let's just keep going this way anyway. Yeah, let's just keep going in this direction, see if we come across anything. I really hope we can come across another fortress at some point in this episode. 
very soon because we could do with some blaze powder as I've said and the only way we can get blaze powder is from another fortress so another thing about these warped forests is that they're the only place in the nether where no other mob will spawn apart from these little guys these guys are called endermen and we get enderpearls from them as we figured out and it's actually probably the easiest way i will ever get enderpearls so i think i'm going to antagonize this guy if i haven't already uh, let's antagonize you can, can, can we from that far ahead no any more endermen oh yeah we looked at him all right let's get under here and yeah let's try and see if we can get a few enderpearls out of this he's angry at me now ah there he is hi come on you can get me from there <laughs> are they just stuck there Oh, he's teleported somewhere, but not here. I, I'm confused. There we go. We got one of them. Did he drop anything? Don't think he did. My inventory is full as well. There we go. Oh, and another one. Awesome. We got some uh, ender pearls out of that. Uh, what can I get rid of? Let's just get rid of a stack of that. And let's get down here. We got four ender pearls. Awesome. Great. Let's see if, how many more we can get. That might be the reason why they couldn't get up. Possibly. Hi. I would like your pearls, please. Whoa. No, he can. What? I don't get where they keep teleporting to. Or why, for that matter? See, there we go. Now he's easy to kill. He's even got a block on him. There we go. Thank you. Oh, we can get Nylium without Silk Touch now. Great. This is a great way to get Warped Nylium without Silk Touch. And Crimson Nylium as well, if there was actually an Endman in the Crimson Forest. Hi. Do you want to um give me your ender pearl? No? Scared. We got seven ender pearls now. If we can get another five, that would make 12. And then we've got enough for the end mission then. Or for the end gate even. Oh, I've got thorns on as well, don't I? Forgot about that. Die. Thank you. And your nylium. That's up to 10. We just need two more now. So one more Enderman should be able to because we've got looting on this sword. That's why we're getting so many. And there's one. Hi. No, you're dead, mate. Look, thanks. Thanks. Thanks for the Nylium. But I also want your Pearl. Look. Thank you. Yes. We got 12 Pearls now. Awesome. Great, so we can open the end portal now, but we do need a few more if possible so we can uh, find said portal because we need Eyes of Ender to find it as well. So I think I might see if I can get a few more. All right, that's another one down and that's another Ender Power at least. 19 pearls, that's awesome. And five warp nylium, that's great. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we haven't come across a nether fortress yet, unfortunately, but we have come across the last biome that we need for the achievement. So all is not lost, at least. Let's see if we can get ourselves down here in a somewhat easy manner. There we go. Awesome. And yeah, this is the basalt biome, I think they're called. Uh, and this is primarily where you get, as the saying is, basalt, but also blackstone. And this is also where um, magma cubes, these guys, like to spawn as well. So let's just step into this biome and we should get the achievement. Yeah, basalt delta, that's what they're called. Awesome. 
And we got the achievement, Hot Taurus. That is find every biome in the nether, which is great. But they're also quite dangerous. So, yeah, I'm not going to bother with that one. <laughs> Let's see if we can try and still find... Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oops. Oh, no. Oh, my God, that was close. Oh. 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 <laughs> That's what I mean about lava. That was very close and dangerous and I got more pearls at least but still ah <sighs> where does this lead anywhere just a giant pile in nowhere I think that leads back to where we came from to be honest with you uh so yeah <laughs> still I think I'm just gonna go in a random direction until I think it's not safe anymore and then turn back honestly because I really haven't got a clue where anything is in here but at least we got an advancement hot tourist so all is not lost <laughs>